Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. Suppose the user forgets the password for the account, then normally you should give the option to reset the password. So let's do that right now. First of all, we need a link to the forgot password in the login view. Now next to this button, so somewhere here maybe, we can add the link. So let's do that. I will open the login .blade.php file and I will go to the button right here and I will create an anchor tag. The URI will be forgot-password and the text forgot your password with a question mark of course. So this will add the link here. However, when we go to this link, of course, there is no route for this or there is no controller, there is no function, there is nothing. So let's do that. Let's create a controller to display this route here. So in my terminal, I will open a new tab, PHP Artisan make controller. We can name this forgot password controller. Okay, so now I will go to the web.php file so we can add the route here. So this is a route for visitors and not for authenticated users. So let's include it inside this visitors route group right here. So it will be a get request. So route get the URI, of course, as we said, it is forgot password. Let me actually double check this. Um, yeah, forgot dash password. And the controller, well, forgot password controller that we just created. The function will be forgot password. Okay, so let's now create this. I will copy this function name and I will open the forgot password controller and create this function. So public function forgot password. Now for the view, we can create a view inside resources views and then authentication. So I will name this forgot-password.blade.php and I will copy the code from the login view and paste it inside the, the forgot password view. So let's now make some changes here. To reset the password, we just need an input for the email. So let's get rid of some of the code here. For example, we do not really need the password, so let me quickly delete this. And we also do not need this anchor tag anymore. And the name of the button should be something like send code. What else? Well, we can also take care of this text right here to something like forgot password. All right, so now let's change the form action right here to something like forgot dash password. Of course, the method should be post and let's now create the function. So I will save this file, go back to the controller, public function post forgot password. And of course we have a request here. And all that I do is to return request email. We could say something like request all, which we have done a lot of times, but in this case, we only send the email address to the server. So it makes more sense to say request email here. Of course, we also need the route for this. So let me quickly grab this copy and paste and this now will be a post and of course the method will be post forgot password, right? Yep, so now let me return the view here. So return view and the view is inside authentication folder and then forgot dash password. Okay, so let's now take a look at this. I will go back to this, refresh, click on this link and as you can see we get the forgot password uh, view and of course we have the send code right here. So let me add an email 
we click send code and of course we return the email because remember this is what we return here the email so what i want to do now is to create a reset code for the user with this email address so let's do that user equals to user where email and as we said we will pass the request email here and we want to get the first user and of course do not forget to import user so use app user okay now before i take any further action i want to see if this user with this email exists so if the user doesn't exist then i still want to return a successful message i do not want to display an error for example the email doesn't exist because there are bad guys out there, maybe hackers, that might make use of this, of this information. So let's do that. If count, and I will pass the user here, is equal to zero. So if there is no user with that email, then I want to return, redirect. We want to redirect back with, and here now we can say success so remember this will always be successful reset code was sent to your email so even if there was something wrong the end user will always get the successful message so we do not display some kind of essential information to the end user okay great now, in the case that the user exists, then we continue with our code here. And what I want to do is to create a reset code. But in case there is already a reset code for this user, then we will not create a new reset code, but we will retrieve the current reset code. So let's do that. I will say a reminder here. So we will store this inside a reminder variable. And then I will use the reminder that is available from Sentinel. So reminder exists, so we will check first if there is a reminder for this user. If there is, then get the reminder. Otherwise, we create a new reminder. So a reminder create for this user here. And of course, we also have to import reminder. So use reminder. Now we want to send this code that we have in this reminder variable right here to the user's email. So I will create a send email function and this will accept the user and the reset code. This will be very similar to the send email function that we created for the activation. So below here I will say private function send email and then we will need a user and the code of course. Now here we want to send an email so I will say mail send the view will be emails.forgot-password and this view now will take a user which is the user that we pass to this send email and the code which is again the code that we pass to this send email of course we also have a function here so function message and uh, we will use user so we need this available and here now i will say message to and we will get the email of the user and we can also set the subject for the for the email so message subject the subject can be something like hello and then user first name reset your password uh, be careful these are double quotes and not single quotes okay so now the send email function is ready and let's use that so right here i will say this send email and i will pass the user and the code from the reminder so reminder code and after this, in the end, we just return redirect back with the same pretty much information here. 
but the only difference is that this is real because you know we take all the steps we create the reminder if it doesn't exist and we also send the email so this return here is real this one is fake as we said and we also discussed why this is fake now back to the forgot password view i want to make use of the success session okay so now we have to change this to success and this one success and this one to success as well we can also have the error session by using try cats in this code here but i'm sure you can take care of this now like always i will use a temporary email and let me do that so temp email and i will get the email from here so let me delete this i will copy this and go back to the users table and i will change the email of this user here with the one that we got from this website which is our temporary email all right now back to this reload oh it looks like we have an error in line 44 uh let me quickly fix this so where is this right here of course yeah we have to add the semicolon right there and we also have to import mail so something that i forgot okay back to this reload perfect so if i add the email here most probably we're going to get an error so let's give this a try as you can see it says that reminder exists requires to implement the user interface and our user model here doesn't do that because we pass a user model right and this doesn't work if you remember we have already seen this in the activation controller later in the course as we go through the end of the course we will get back to this and we will do some refactoring and fix these kind of problems but for now i don't want to deal with it so let's get the user again but this time with sentinel as we have already done that in the activation controller so right below here i will say sentinel user equals to sentinel find by id and i will pass the id of the user that we have right here of course this is a duplicate the only difference is that this user here doesn't implement user interface which is required of course from the reminder exists however the sentinel right here does it so it, it implements the user interface so let's also include the sentinel so use sentinel okay now the last step is to quickly create the forgot password view for the email this time so let me go to emails here and create a new view forgot password as well dot blade dot php uh, maybe because we already have a forgot password view here you might want to change this but i think this is fine for now so i will just save this and i will get the code from the activation and copy it inside this view here that is used for the email of course so and i will do some changes so hello please click the following link to reset your password and for the url here i will just say reset and then maybe something like click here okay so let me also save this forgot password controller and let's try this again so i will just reload continue oops i forgot to totally uh, use this sentinel user here so let me do this um we will do it right here okay and also right here perfect so let's try this again reload continue okay so everything is correct we are redirected back and we get this success message and now if we go to the reminders table you can see that we have a password reset for this user with id1 and of course this is not completed yet and we should also have the email right here and it says please click the following link to reset your password and this is the email so let me copy the link address yeah so this is the right one perfect so we will finish this reset password feature in the upcoming video